This exam question is about the boiling behavior of immiscible liquids. In the gas phase, water and cyclohexane form an ideal mixture. In the liquid phase, however, the components are completely immiscible. Half a kilogram of water and two kilograms of cyclohexane are added together. At what temperature does this mixture begin to boil? At a total pressure of 2 bars. And what is the composition of the gas phase at the boiling point? To calculate this problem, we must know the vapor pressures of the two components as a function of temperature, which we look up in tables or calculate using, for example, Antoine's equation. A liquid starts to boil when the vapor pressure above the liquid phase corresponds to the external pressure. We must therefore only screen these two tables adding the vapor pressures at different temperatures. Once the result meets the external pressure, the mixture will begin to boil. For example, a mixture of water and cyclohexane won't yet boil at 65 degrees Celsius, for the sum of the vapor pressures is only about 864 millibars at that temperature. At 100 degrees this is, however, the sum of the vapor pressures well exceeds two bars. Obviously, at about 90 degrees Celsius, the sum of the vapor pressures reaches about two bars. And this is the boiling point of any water cyclohexane mixture. At 90 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of water will be 704 millibars and the vapor pressure of cyclohexane would be 1322 millibars resulting in a total pressure of 2026 millibars corresponding approximately to the external pressure of two bars. The molar fraction of water in the gas phase will be 700 millibars over 2000 millibars 0.35, about 35% according to Dalton's law. Thanks for watching.